Waking Up Singapore. Can I get up, 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 The Big Show on Kiss 92. Can I get up? Good morning and welcome to the biggest and best breakfast show here in Singapore. We are The Big Show and our very special guest this morning is the Executive Chairman and CEO of Propnex. Welcome, Mr. Ismail Gafur. Hi, morning, 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 everyone. <laughs> morning, Ismail. Yes. Good morning, Ismail. Thanks awesome so much. Awesome to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks so much for coming in so early to Kiss 92. It's your first time in the studio for yeah, us. I think so, yes, for Kiss 92. For this Kiss. is my very first time, though I've been many times, but not yeah. to this you, Yeah, you sound like you're quite radio savvy, so oh. we don't need to give you any instructions. <laughs> at all. Anyway, Ismail Gafur <laughs> is, as Glenn said, the executive chairman and CEO of Propnex, which I dare say, is the biggest property agency in Singapore? Yes, indeed we are. You I are? think we have got more than 12,300 salespeople. Ooh. That's amazing. That's quite yeah. a If number. If this job of mine doesn't work out, I'll go work for you. <laughs> oh, I think you can sell. I think 100%. so, right? You think so? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, Glenn, you're selling every day something. This is true. <laughs> This is, is true. actually true. Yeah, you sell yeah. yourself, you sell our music, you sell everything. Mm. So That yeah, right. you, you have a job. Correct. Okay, uh, and, and and what we want to mm, sell today mm. is the fact that on Kiss ninety two, mm. we're giving away a thousand three hundred dollars today, and a chance for you to win a flight to Paris. Woo-hoo. That's worth three thousand dollars. So let us tell you a little bit more. Uh, we'll talk today to Ismail about the. I can fly campaign. Why don't you start off with that and tell us a little bit more about that? Oh, yeah, Angel, actually, you know, we felt that we wanted to give back something to everyone. You know, Propnex is not new as far as consumer education and we have done a couple of previous campaign. We gave out a condominium one-bedroom treasure at Tampines and then we gave out another condominium at Normanton worth a million dollars. But we realized there's only one winner every time when we give out such big prizes. Yeah. Then we thought, how about this year we give something different? Make 100 people happy. 100? Mm. Wow. Okay. 100 condominiums? <laughs> oh, I wish I could. I, I should be the big developer tycoon. <laughs> right? Maybe one day, maybe one day it may That's materialize. That's your next step, yeah. developer. <laughs> bless, bless if I am. Yeah, but then we thought of in, after COVID, I went for a holiday together with about close to 200 of my staff last year. And every year we used to go to one of the nearby cities and we went to Tokyo. And it was an amazing experience and I realized all my staff were enjoying so much that I felt that when we came back, we were talking there during the breakfast itself mm-hmm. and when we came back to the management meeting, how about giving out 100 airline tickets to various cities, to our consumers, anyone, really doesn't matter. They could be our customers, they need not be our customers. It's just to say a big thank you mm-hmm. for supporting Propnex and for making us be the largest real estate company. In That's Singapore. very, very generous. And you were saying you don't even have to be a customer of Propnex because all you have to do is go to our website Kiss92FM you click on the banner that you see uh, says guess the song and it will lead you straight to the I Can Fly campaign now I just did this because apparently I'm eligible as well no so, you're not <laughs> yes you yes so I, I, got, I got the boss's clearance they're like wow. anybody can take part so I went on to the I Can Fly campaign website I keyed in my mobile number I got an OTP and then straight away I'm eligible and then with that you get a link and if you share that link to lots of people you increase your chances for winning those tickets to Paris no, absolutely right Angel in fact something so special I mean for Keys 92 fans I must say in fact our 100 tickets over and above that we are giving a special pair of tickets to Paris mm. only those who use the Keys 92 ah, oh, wow. right okay thank so you prop next thank you very much and speaking of which we also have something else going on called the guest which the song the, yeah which is what I was uh, the talking $1, about the $1,300 right? $1, it's going to be uh, on the morning show on the big show as well as on your way with Joshua Simon and what do, we have, do they have to do? so basically they need to listen to a song One second of a song. Well, so not really a song, a snippet of a song. One second. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and okay. I think it's going to be very easy, but you have to wait because we're only going to play that that snippet, that one second. This was instructed by uh-huh. uh, you know some of the people here uh, at about 9.30 today. 9.30? Yeah. But Ismail is here now. No, okay, Glenn, uh, how about we K-Long a bit? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. What is the time now? Now yeah. it's only about 8, right? 8 yes. o'clock, yeah. We let them give them, since I'm here, if mm. you don't mind, why not we 
play that one second right now. Right now? Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. I'm not so sure whether it's possible. I'm trying to break the rules. But if I, you don't mind, I think it's, it's it's possible. You know why? Because mm. this whole thing is guess the song sponsored by Propnex. Okay. So I think. I think it's possible. Okay, you you nice. sound like let's the boss of us right now. So yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay, let's play this snippet right now. What was go. that? I, I didn't even catch it. What was that? Uh, Somebody being tickled. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a monkey. <laughs> one more time. Oh, can can we play it? One can more? why not? Okay. Yeah. That's two seconds now. Oh, okay. <laughs> if we play it 60, sec- 60 times more, we got 60 seconds of a song. But hey, you know what? If you're tuned in right now, you have an edge already. That's yeah. right. You've heard it twice now. Yes. Okay. Can you play it one more time? Okay. Hmm. And so, Glenn, you said that if anyone gets it right, mm-hmm. they straight away walk away with $1,300. Right so now. what happens if... They are not able to get it. If they're not able to get it, then we increase it by a hundred dollars every time. So it'll be a thousand four hundred dollars. But should someone figure it out, right, at a thousand three hundred dollars, then that's it. A thousand three goes, and then it's, um, it starts at a hundred dollars. Yeah. So yes. today is the only time that you, it starts off with a thousand three hundred dollars. Now yep. remember, if you do know the song and if you want to call us, you can. But you have to register first with the I Can Fly with Propnex uh, website that mm. I mentioned earlier uh, to qualify for the game. And here's the fun thing, right? So at the end of this week, right? Mm. Should no one figure out the one second song, mm-hmm. the snippet, right? Then we will reveal the title of the song, oh. and then next week we'll play a fresh snippet mm. of so another. We'll start all over second. again. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So good yeah. luck, good luck, everyone. Uh, we are speaking to Ismail Gafur, the executive chairman and CEO of Propnex. Let's continue to talk to him on the Big Show TV. Meantime, here's James Hype and Miggy Della Rosa, Ferrari on Kiss ninety two. So Ismail, I know we're talking about this special like pair of tickets to Paris, but have you already given any tickets out? Oh yes, indeed. Um, you know the campaign started as early as um, uh, beginning of this year okay. after Chinese New Year. So we picked ten tickets to be worn by five five people. Each of them get a pair of mm-hmm. tickets. So what we did was for the month of March, these winners got it to Osaka. Oh wow! Okay. okay. And what is so beautiful, Angel? Here is this. The winners do stand a chance to win other cities as well. Oh. So oh. what am I doing here is this. In the month of March, there are 10 tickets given to Osaka. April, another 10 tickets to Osaka. Mm-hmm. Then May and June will be to Seoul, Korea. Okay. Then July and August is to Tokyo, 10 tickets and 10 tickets. Mm. Then we go to September, October. October mm-hmm. will be 10 tickets each to Melbourne. Oh, nice. Okay. And then finally, we wrap up the year to Paris, November and December. 10, 10, 10 tickets, tickets as well. So, yeah. five pairs. Yes, five pairs. Wow. So, all in all, there are 100 tickets. But what just now we mentioned here is this Kiss 92 fans are special. They mm. do qualify to get any of these cities. In fact, a winner can get multiple cities. Somebody who have won for Osaka, we will not remove the names for the next draw. Oh. Right. Yeah. So, so, so they don't have to take part again. Their name no is name. still in the draw. Still How cool in the draw. Wow. Still in Because the draw. I mean, usually when you take part, it's like 30 days. You can't take part mm. again, or you can never, you know, yeah. take part. I love that. That's it. Very Kiss generous. Kiss and prop next. <laughs> Friends for life. <laughs> And he also said, he's like, Glenn, you can take part. Angel, you can take part. Oh. But I'm a bit shy. Why? Because I'm very shy? lucky when it comes to these soft things. Mm. And then you? if I win, I'll be announcing my own name. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you announce. No, I can sure. announce your name for you. Yes, sure. Okay. No, I'm so happy for the Kiss 92 fans. Yes. Thank you very much once again. Uh, it's no, my Truly, own. truly. Our yeah. So yeah. again, you know, I mean, if, you, if you're listening to us right now, and obviously you are watching us, uh, just head to our website. You'll see the Guess the Song banner as soon mm. as you click, uh, as soon as you key in our Kiss92.sg. Once you click on the banner, it'll lead you straight to the I Can Fly Propnex website. And there you just key in your mobile number. Uh, well, you key, you click Let's Fly, key in your mobile number, you get an OTP, you're in. Yep. And then share that code. Yep, that's share simple. it with us. Let it be people. on everyone's lips. Yeah. Yes, okay. I Can Fly. I can yes, fly. with Propnex. Right, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So you're going to like sing a song now? That I can fly, no. I believe I can fly. Yeah. No. No, not today. Okay. Am I that predictable? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you said you've done you've done so many other giveaways before. You mm. did condos. Mm. You did one at Normandon. You did one in Tampines. You mm. do this. 
How are you going to beat this next year? What's to you, are you already planning what 2025 could hold for PropNex? I suppose it will be very amazing because next year happened to be our 25th anniversary. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, We are going on to a, a, a retreat in June mm. to plan for next year's event. Mm. Yeah, because okay. it's going to be a big thing. Yeah, yeah, Definitely, we will come out with something more exciting. But one of the other things, definitely a lot of Keys 92 fans can take advantage, Glenn and Angel, here is this. We do have, this is the third year, a Monopoly competition. Monopoly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you have this going on now? Oh, or this coming is the third year. This, this is the third, third year. year, okay. Yeah. So the registrations are open. Okay. I mean, I mean, I'm just responding to this, Angel, when you ask, what else do we have? You always think out of the box. Yes. And this is a hash bro license, national level. And let me tell you, see, something more exciting, more exciting than just winning a pair of tickets to yeah. one of the cities. The winner gets... One hundred and eight thousand dollars. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Cash. Cash. You're saying Hasbro is involved as well. Oh yes. So you're saying Monopoly as in the actual game. Yes. yes. How do we do? How do we get involved? I, I think it's so simple. You just need to go to Propnex website or so, and maybe you can just need to go there as Propnex uh, Monopoly. You can just register, and the game starts in May. Okay. The, the, the game starts. Right. And in fact, we have got this is the third year. For the first year, we had almost about close to 10,000 people registered and they came in played physical and a 26-year-old young lady won the $108,000. So you have to play physically. It says $180,000. Yeah, it's total because second oh. price is $18,000. Oh, wow. Third price is $10,000. Correct. So, it's so we are giving out $180,000 cash but the champion walks away with $108,000. So we have Amazing. got two winners and okay. this will be the third year we are running this campaign yeah. again. Angel is more excited about Monopoly than the $108,000. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see a reaction just like, Monopoly? Monopoly? I'm like, then what? we were talking about $108,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Angel, yeah, did you yeah. just hear the prize money you know? Okay, so what do I have to do? Because I love Monopoly. I mean, their game rules, obviously. I love this website because they have actually... <laughs> I'm very excited. They've actually worked together with Hasbro. So it's yeah. official, official Monopoly. Yeah. Uh, so you have to register. And it's a registration fee of $10 here. Yes. Um, mm. Obviously, if you want to win 108 thousand dollars ten dollars is nothing so um yeah their game rules and everything uh, just google prop next monopoly and it'll pop up yeah right. so exciting yeah it's from me okay so something else to look forward to mm. and right. one of the things very interesting glenn here is this actually a world new uh in terms of rules usual monopoly game angel you yeah. know it can take two to three hours yes <laughs> trust me trust me how quick is this you you, you play our game Within 45 minutes, your heart rate will exceed 100. <laughs> Trust me. Because one of them will likely go bankrupt after the 40th minutes before the 50th minute. Oh, I yeah. love this. It's like yeah. a unique... I'm sure you get like professional Monopoly players coming in. Because oh, yeah. there are. Yeah, yeah there are. They are. Right? And, and, and they've been knocked off by some young people. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So wow. our objective was simple, is to educate the consumer. But we have curated the game to the Singapore rules. That means you have to pay seller stamp duty. If you buy a second oh. property, ABSD and you everything. Have got ABSD, oh my you got goodness. Seller stamp duty. ABSD is involved when you buy the second and the third property. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. But I don't like that ruling. <laughs> <laughs> You're like just waiting to get your Correct. second property, right? Yeah, Okay, very cool. And where is this game? Where It's a physical game, obviously. Yeah. When is this happening? I think it's starting from May. People can register now Already. and can even book a slot okay. which weekend they want to play. Okay. And it is all happening from May to by August will be the finals. Mm. Okay, we're going back on air. Stand by. It's 92 traffic. All right, there's a vehicle breakdown on the PIE towards Changi after the Stevens Road exit. And Eric has texted in to say that, let me see, towards Changi near the Pongal exit the, on the TPE, there's an accident, so stay clear of the area. Drive safe. Well done, Cheyenne. <laughs> if you're wondering whose voice Good that job. was. You know, yeah. we're, we're preparing Cheyenne because we're going to be in Brisbane. Wow. So, so she's got to so do that So she's the only one who's going to be in the studio mm -hmm. and she's going to make everything work. Yeah. And so uh, we said, Cheyenne, why don't you do our traffic for us since oh, you're here in Singapore? And so she said, okay. So... <laughs> 
Today is her debut. Yeah, so she's got Traffic. lots of buttons to press yes. and make sure that everybody sounds good. She'll on be top doing of the that, weather she has to do that as well. As well. Yeah. <laughs> well Nicely done, Cheyenne. done, Cheyenne. Well done. Of course, you. you'll get better every time you, you, <laughs> you do it. Anyway, uh, we are in the studio here with Ismail Gafour, the Executive Chairman and CEO of Propnex. And we've been talking about the I Can Fly campaign with Propnex as well as Guess the Song, sponsored by Propnex. Yes, yeah, so um, you've already told us there's so much happening. Uh, we did say the I Can Fly campaign gives you the chance to win tickets to all sorts of destinations. Uh, like um, that w- you were saying... Yeah, I mentioned in Osaka, Osaka. Tokyo, 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 Seoul, Seoul Melbourne, Melbourne, and Paris. Paris at the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, but a special Kiss 92 listener can also win a pair of tickets to Paris and that's yeah. worth $3,000. On top of that, you could stand a chance to win $1,300 today mm-hmm. if you can guess our song. It's a one-second song. Yes, just one second. Only but one you second. you already had... Three seconds. Yes. You, you heard it three times. This is true. Um, if you did hear it, all you have to do is head to our website, kiss92.sg. Uh, click on the banner that says Guess the Song. It'll lead you to the Prop Next website for I Can Fly. And then you just register there. Once you do all that, remember you have to register with I Can Fly before giving us a call to try to guess the song. That's right. And I think, um, you know, all these things that are happening thanks to Prop Next is because of you, Ismail. You didn't mention just now thinking out of the box so now i want to focus a little bit on you okay mm-hmm. because you founded propnex over 20 years ago about 24 years 24 year. years ago mm-hmm. and you've always stood out from everyone else because of the way you 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 think you're fun you think out of the box have you always been like that <laughs> um maybe a uh, many things that's contributed to where i am today probably okay. i'm first and foremost i must say i'm so blessed uh, to the Almighty, but I don't want to say all this like just in a kind of in a speech and so on. But I've got a lot of good people surrounding mm. me. You know, it's never easy to run a company with twelve thousand salespeople. Yeah. yeah, but if you're having a good team, things seems to be very very exciting. And I think I grew up a little bit more tougher times, but I signed up in the armed forces as a pensionable officer and I had a good, good 13 years career in the Singapore armed forces oh right okay yeah but then I thought that maybe it's time for me to step out and do something entrepreneurial mm. and that's how I ended up in yeah. real estate what, what, what made you pick real estate oh I knew I think it's uh, Angel uh, I've shared this but because we came from a very uh, not very rich family my mum and dad immigrant and uh, five brothers, we stayed in a rented home where there's no room actually. Mm. So my mom and dad just has got a curtain while in the living hall, five brothers, fortunately we were all brothers, yep, we were packed like sardine mm. and we just sleep in the living hall. And it's always my desire to have a bigger home. Mm. Yep. And, and that triggered one for, to another and I was very passionate about wanting to invest in property and then I come to realise something, Glenn. A lot of rich people own properties and they become rich by owning properties, not working so hard. <laughs> a portfolio of properties, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, so that prompted me. While I was in the armed forces, I used to go for a lot and lot of seminars. You know, sometimes it doesn't cost you anything to go for a seminar. Mm-hmm. It's knowledge. It doesn't mean you can take action if you don't have the ability. But when I was young, I must tell you, honestly, I don't have much money. And I go to most of the seminars those days and have a free cup of coffee and a mm-hmm. tea. Okay. <laughs> but mm. my knowledge started to increase. Yeah. And that's where there was a conviction within me to say, real estate is the way to go. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's an amazing story. And look at you now. 25 yeah. years later, 12,000 people under you. It must, I mean, it must feel rewarding, humbling and you know, fill you with gratitude for being able to come so far and, yeah. and make that dream come true this is a, over and over again. It's almost like a rags to riches yeah, yeah, for sure. story, you know, for and sure. it inspires everyone. Mm. Do you, um, because you said you used to go for seminars and all that, do you conduct seminars now to inspire other people? No, well? I think more of we do. Uh, in, in fact, last year, Glenn, you'd be surprised, we mm. conducted 93 consumer seminars. Oh my I gosh. Think oh. In, in a year, there consumer are only 50. Consumer seminars, yeah. right. Okay. And are you there uh, most yeah. of the time? I think myself and my deputy CEO, Calvin Fong, he's very yeah. well known in the market because he's very, very analytical. Mm-hmm. So both of us take a huge amount of share of these consumer seminars. And our objectives are very, very simple. It's just to educate the consumers what is happening in the market because 
I always felt that real estate we should take a very active approach because Absolutely. we think it is an asset, yeah. but over time it may turn to become a liability. Of course, yeah. As the lease goes down, or yeah. there may be other depreciation and, and all so that. On. Yeah. So you have an understanding, but you may not be ready to take any actions. Mm. That's perfectly okay. Mm. okay. 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 Let's continue to talk to uh, Mr. Ismail Gafur, the executive chairman and CEO of Propnex, right here on Kiss ninety two. It's eight nineteen. Kiss ninety two time check brought to you by Putian. Pu- so I have a question to ask, Ismail. Uh, property prices skyrocketed mm. over the past couple of years, like skyrocketed. HDBs, private housing, mm. everything. Mm. And so a lot of people started to become property agents. Mm. Every left, right, center, you'll you'll hear of friends mm. turning into property agents and all that. Is that the way to go, or I mean, what kind of piece of advice for someone who's been in the business for so long and seen people come and go? Mm. Would you give to aspiring mm. property agents? It's also harder to be a property agent now yeah. than than before, right? There are certain things that have changed. Yeah, Glenn, I think first and foremost an angel, these are very, very valid questions because there's a lot of desires for many people who think that maybe property, being a real estate salesperson, give them an, an opportunity. Um, yes, the rules are there because it's very much more regulated. One have to have minimum for all levels uh, qualification or a diploma in mm. order to take an exam known as RES, Real Estate Salesperson's Exam. And the thing here is sometimes it take many attempts. There are two yes. papers. People don't tend to pass in the first attempt. Very mm. few people. Mm. There are few people who do pass, but many of them tend to fail because we do not know. I don't think it is officially said there's a capping, but it is not easy to pass the exam. Mm. Yes. That's for sure. Okay. Today we have got about 35,000 salespeople in Singapore. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I must also say a good 40% of these 35,000 or about 15,000 salespeople mm. are just holding on to the license oh. without doing even one transaction Not in active. the last 12 months. Right, okay. And I can understand because some of them would have been retired and they took up the license and they think that they just keep it as and when maybe their loved ones, their parents or, or their family members, they will do a transact but they are not ready to do that. Does it expire at all? No, yeah, no. every year the salespeople mm. are expected to retain the license. They have to do a couple of things, three things. Once they have to buy a professional indemnity insurance individually or so. That's from our company's requirement. Number two, they have to attend continual professional development training as dictated by CEA. Okay. So they have to make sure that they are very current mm, as far mm. as... Third, they have to pay a license fee annually. Got mm. it, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, property agents are amazing. Mm. They need to be so meticulous. Mm. I mean, I've had many experiences you know, buying my own home, renting it out, and, uh, you know, perhaps maybe now in the process of, of doing something else. And I, I see the, the amount of documents that they have to, to, mm. to, to come up with and for them to even go through with their clients every, all the terms mm. and conditions and all that. It takes a very special it does, it does. Yeah. To be flawless in that area. Which is what I wanted to say, like what makes a good property agent? Because, you know, I've dealt with property agents before and not all of them are made equal. Yep. Some will never get back to you. Yep. Some will, you know, behave like they don't need your business. You yeah. know, but some will be so proactive, you yeah. know, they'll be like, you know, I think this place or if this doesn't work for you, let's go to this place. So what do you think makes a good property agent? Because again, with the boom in property, people were jumping on board just because they want a commission, yeah. you know, which which doesn't make yeah. for Ismail. a good property agent. Mm-hmm. Ismail makes good company yeah, yeah. Uh, property agents. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, I think truly it is definitely what it takes a good salesperson is the first and foremost the objective and attitude why is he in the real estate in the business anyone who wants to come and make a quick money and a high commissions don't last usually Mm. and and I've seen that over time people who have a heart and put the customers first before self 
And you know, this business is hugely on referral base. I mean, as Glenn, you said, an angel. If, if one agent really take care of your needs and he, he or she does well, you tend to refer that person to someone else. Your loved one. You stick with them. And yes. you stay with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that being fair, a successful real estate salespeople are the one who put the customer's needs first with a listening ear, mm. truly to understand what they need. And I, I always say this, all successful people are people who put other than the customers it is not about money first when they start to pray mm. to money mm. you tend to become blind and then you tend to cut corners mm. and you may not be guided by your values yes. and that's mm. not the right thing mm. Mm. Yeah. okay okay we'll go back on air one last, last time yeah yeah <clears throat> traffic. What's oh. the traffic situation like, <laughs> Cheyenne Lim? All right, Glenn Ong. There's been an accident on Benoit Road near the Benoit Road Jalan Ibrahim ex- Jalan Ahmad Ibrahim Junction. So mm. keep an eye out for that. But other words, back to you guys. All right, thank well you very done. much. I hope uh, everyone. I hope no one's too. Uh, um, you know that maybe no that accident. I hope everyone is okay. Uh, we hope everyone. Yeah, we hope is it's fine, not a yeah. bad accident. No. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Back on the show, we are with Ismail Gafour, the executive chairman and CEO of Propnex, and we're very thankful to you, Ismail, for uh, for collaborating with us. Uh, that's the wonderful "I Can Fly" campaign by Propnex, and we also have the guest, the song sponsored by Propnex. We play you a second of the song. If you can figure it out today. Later, when we play uh, the snippet again at about nine nine thirty, mm-hmm. you walk away with a thousand three hundred dollars in cash. But remember to do that. You have to head to our website kiss ninety two dot sg. Click on the guess the song banner and then register on the I Can Fly with Propnex website. Now this step is compulsory. Mm. There is no getting around that. So if you call us and try and guess the song and we ask you, have you signed up? And you say no. Boom! We next we take the next caller. That's correct. Right. So once again, head to the website first. Just register first. Yes. You know whether you know the song or not. Register because you could win a pair of tickets to Paris worth three thousand dollars. And you get two chances a day. Okay, for I uh, guess the the song sponsored by Propnex. Uh, once on the big show, and the other one. Um, on the way with Joshua Simon. That's right. In the evening. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Ismail, uh, you mentioned you. We did talk about guess the song. We did talk about uh, I can fly. Tell us a little bit more about the Monopoly challenge. Mm, okay, that's really interesting, Angel, uh, because I think one of the way to learn about the real estate skill sets, and you can make all the mistakes. It's okay for one to go bankrupt <laughs> playing a board game <laughs> right. than it's in true. the real life. And these are by Singapore rules you mentioned, yes, right? Yes, these by Singapore rules. Mm. I think it would be so interesting for people to find out that hey, by playing this game, how come some players are becoming winners? What are the right strategies they adopt in either holding on to cash flow? Actually, it is not about just buying, buying a property. Why people go bankrupt is because they over leverage. Mm. Buy beyond their means mm-hmm. and don't have enough cash flow. Right. So the monopoly game teaches this very well. Mm. It is not necessary the person who owns a property at the Orchard Road yeah. Yeah. Uh, become the winner. Mm. It could be someone who buys a multiple properties within the means. It could be industrial. It could be uh, outside the said core central region, and yet he becomes the winner. So is it time for me to sell my Orchard Road? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can Speak talk to about prop that. Next. Later. Yes, <laughs> you know it's funny because I played Monopoly growing up. Okay. You know, and obviously we know it's about property buying, selling, you know, holding and this and that. But I've never thought about it in that detail. Mm. Like not the people that own the Park Avenue uh, apartments or the houses are the people that will walk away with the most cash. Right. It can bankrupt you. Right. But but Isma, how do you all determine the winner of the... uh, at, at the end of, I think the game will end within one hour, fifteen minutes. In okay. fact, I think if as long as out of the four plays, if two of them goes bankrupt, the game can stop. Oh. And, and the winner is determined by counting 
the assets converting into all cash. Right. Who has the highest amount of cash? Okay. So if you have a house, mm. then it will be counted. What is the value of the, the house? house. If see. you have a title, and then it will be counted. What is the value of the title? Plus the cash Plus that you have in cash. hand. So right. you got to okay. play it right. You still got to be brave. Of if course. you're too conservative, you won't win That's as well. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Wow. Okay. And now I feel like going to buy my Monopoly as well. And Just take part. In this. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I need to do Go some studying. Go down and have a look first. at how they. No, Angel. Yeah. I think you should buy the Propnex Monopoly because it comes with the rule. You can start. You it. have the Propnex Monopoly can, board set as well. Oh, we have Propnex. our own board set. Do you? So, so, where do you, so this, where do you this, get them? Oh, you, or online, you can just okay. go and order or you can just ask any of my Propnex salespersons. You know what? Say. I think yeah. we have the executive chairman and CEO of Propnex sitting here. We'll just ask yeah. him, like, where can we get these sets direct? Correct. Okay. We'll go and meet you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> or more than happy to. <laughs> drop by, drop by. For yes. sure, yeah. But you can't get it from Toys R Us. Huh? You yeah. go down there, you can't get the special Propnex edition. Well, thank you very much, Ismail, for joining us us today and uh, thank you so much once again for collaborating with us on Kiss 92 and being so kind and generous to our Kiss 92 fans. I'm sure they love you from the bottom of their hearts, man. Truly my pleasure, Glenn and Angel. Wishing you all the very best and to all the Kiss fans and everyone, let's go all out and win some money. Fantastic. I love wonderful. the sound of that. <laughs> so blessed to have you on the show today. Thank you so thank much, Isma. Thank, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Up next, G Idol. This is Queen Card on Kiss 92. Okay, thank Lovely. you very much. Don't worry. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. It's, still, it's still live Ooh. because we have another guest coming in. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. That was great. So good, Ismail. Yeah. Anytime. We will invite you back on the show again. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to you, friend. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I forgot you guys were here. Thank you. Endorsement, endorsement. endorsement. Come sit down. <laughs> you sit there, yes. We are already live. Good morning. Okay. $140,000 worth $2.1 million versus $2.1 million. What are you doing? Sit down. <laughs> We're talking EVs. EVs, but super duper premium EV today. We're talking well, about well, both both yeah, ends of the spectrum. Ends, really. Only either end of yeah. the spectrum. Yeah, we've got the uh, one point. Uh, no, two point one million dollar Rolls Royce. Yeah, without COE. Eh, only two point one. Without COE. Yeah, without COE. And the uh, hundred and forty thousand dollar. How is it pronounced? Aeon. 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 Yes. Aeon. Yeah. And that's Chinese, right? Yes. Yeah. Is that a new player in the market? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Tell us more. It's been a fun week, lah. I mean, getting around. You know, on one hand, we started a week. Uh, went for lunch and what is Rolls Royce Spectre. No way! You actually, they actually invited you guys to get in the Rolls Royce and they drove around. No. Well, my colleague was driving the car. Oh, you didn't get to drive it? It's a oh, Rolls Royce. Why do you want to drive one? Who's your colleague that... Well, of course I want to drive You mean one. they allowed you guys to actually That's drive right. the Rolls Royce? Yeah, how to double your property tax or something. <laughs> we used to, I was making a bad joke there about... Um, <laughs> yeah, the fact that these things they are upwards of two mil, right? Yeah. Yeah, they should get their own postal code. Okay, oh let's talk God. about it. Right. They should. Let's talk about this. Okay, now, I can't believe they allowed you guys to test drive it. Why do they trust us? You said your well, colleague drove it. Why, why didn't you? You'll be shivering, drive. man. Tell you? Like Angel. <laughs> I wouldn't no shiver. Like, uh, no. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Do you want to be the queen card? Angel? I am the queen card. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> You're the queen. What is FD? Not here. No, don't don't do it. He's not here. Yes, he's not <laughs> here. That's true. Who who is here is Nianjo. He's our senior transport correspondent from the Straits Times. And Nianjo, we have a very exciting topic to speak about today. Uh, EVs are on the rise uh, yes. worldwide, and we're talking about two different kinds of EVs on different ends of the monetary spectrum. Yes. Wait, so, mm. But before he goes into that, yeah. I have to touch on this because there are touch. people who probably, yeah, touch on this point. Okay. Um, because I think over the past two days, you know, there was news that Tesla shares Dropped. plummeted. Yeah. And uh, they were also talking about BYD uh, kind of like experiencing a little bit of a dip as yeah. well. Uh, 
what what is this saying about the market or is, is it uh, because she mentioned EVs on the rise we mm. know that but is there something going on right now well I think uh, that will be for investment talk okay. Uh, okay. With, okay. because um, so the, the little that I know from from my perspective right uh, is um, a lot of the numbers comes on the back of for BYD domi- they are strong domestically yes right Chinese brands and, mm-hmm. and, and a lot of cars are, most of their their sales are accounted for in China Okay. And in China, when you talk about reporting, yeah. uh, well, right smack in February, there was the Chinese New Year. Yes. Mm. So that definitely has an impact. Mm. But I think moving away from that is electric vehicle adoption is cumulative. Okay. Because it's not as if the cars are bought and then they disappear. Mm. So you add on and on and on. So I think that is one perspective to take, which is cumulatively, you're going to have more and more EVs, whether sold as new cars. And then after the first owner is done, he yeah. sells it on. Mm. He or she sells it on. Then you have uh, that vehicle goes into the used market and so on. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So it adds up. Right. Okay. Mm, so okay. just want to establish that that sure. the EV market is still on the rise. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was right then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're talking <laughs> about electric vehicles yes. on either ends. Uh, earlier this week, uh, you attended the launch of the. Rolls Royce two door coupe. Uh, what's the model? It's got a Spectre. The Spectre. Yeah. And so James Bond. Singa- Singapore price two point one million dollars without yes. COE. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a launch. Actually, this car was uh, okay. presented earlier last year, mm-hmm. but it takes a while for the the cars to be you know delivered and, and yeah. whatever. Sort of. This was a, a demonstrator, a, a test car okay. from the dealership. Okay. And yeah. then uh, just on Friday, you went to another launch yes. of a significantly more economically priced. <laughs> car it is the uh, Chinese Aeon yes that's and right. this is expected to cost under 140,000 with COE yes thereabouts yeah. oh my goodness okay let's go on the big They're show just TV. coming in to irritate BYD <laughs> you know, I think yeah well I mean we'll, we'll hear from mm. the expert and find out what this car is like so we'll, we'll also find out which is a better way to spend your money okay meantime here's Maroon 5 and I don't know why but of late I've just been listening to Maroon 5 oh it's like, here's you know, their songs connect with me all of rela- a You're relating to them? Yeah, okay, yeah absolutely. Right. Anyway, here's uh, Maroon 5 with Maps on KISS 92. Okay, so $2.1 million Rolls Royce versus a $140,000 Aeon. Yes. Where should we be spending our money? Maybe 10 Aeons and... <laughs> and still pocket yeah. change to go for dinner. <laughs> but you know, I'm very surprised well, that yeah. the Rolls Royce is only 2.1 million. I know you're talking about like without COE. Yeah. So with COE, let's say that's I mean, a hundred grand. But I exactly. think nothing. Uh, but to put in perspective of these cars is that the the prices we are told is usually like base model, right? Yeah. Or rather, a standard one, mm-hmm. right? But then these are all built to order. These are all BTO cars. Okay. Meaning the, that the, you, yeah. you build them up. So yeah. the ones that we were in, I, I think it was somewhere sh- uh, an odd shade of grey mm-hmm. with odd black. Shape. I mean, it's kind of strange to me, but it's it's got a dark interior with orange trimmings, for example. I think that's okay. probably like, okay, this is maybe level one in terms Custom, of customization, yeah. right? We've seen um, during the, the, the opening of the showroom actually in Singapore and Rolls-Royce showroom in Singapore is one of the biggest and, and well, it is it is the biggest they outside have of to, Japan uh, in, yeah. in, in, in this area, in this region. Mm. So, during that launch, they of course rolled out, rolled out, brought out lots of uh, uh, models that were specially ordered. Mm. So you get those with like family crests, you get all sorts of designs and stuff. Yeah. All sorts of colors. But, oh, of course, of course. But yeah. 2.1 million for a Rolls Royce is mm. considered cheap, right? That, I mean, yeah. uh, uh, I say, in Singapore. Well, uh, again, I say that this is before the options. So the average car that's actually, if there's such a thing, an average one you see on the road will probably have another. 2.5 or something. Well be. This is yeah. entry level basically. It, it kind of, I won't say it's entry level, but more like because this is your first mm. modern fully electric car. Yeah. And, mm. and the reason I'm pointing this out as, in, as a subject for us to chat about is the fact that uh, the electric vehicles is like getting into every segment now. Right. Right. And, and it's not just, uh, I mean, on the Aeon side of things at 140 or thereabouts, right? You realize that actually, remember, bear in mind that we're, we're dealing at a, uh, when a comparable combustion engine cars that we're familiar with mm. Mm. it's not that far off yeah right there'll mm. be models that are maybe a little bit cheaper some a little bit more but if you want a decent family car to get around mm. you know whether we're familiar with BYDs right, right. now there's one a, a new player called Aeon, Aeon. Mm. and yeah. actually over the weekend I was driving something else uh, I mean we'll, write, we'll be writing about that uh, for next week okay which is another Chinese brand 
also electric right. and all sorts of bells and whistles that you can reasonably want and then some. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's very competitive. So, I mean, very. in the UK, the Spectre is half a million dollars. Mm. And so that's a lot of money away. Yes, mostly over that. Two point one million dollars is a lot of money here in Singapore yeah. as well. So the reason why I'm saying this is because I I came across a Ferrari which I love. Are you buying a Ferrari? It's a, no, I'm not. I can't, okay. can't afford it. like a midlife crisis buy? No, exactly. Which is why I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'm not buying a Ferrari. I can't afford a Ferrari. So this Ferrari was an SUV. Mm. Oh yes, yes okay. The yes. Or something. Yes, I think yes, so. Yes. And it's two point one mil. Oh. So you know, I'm I'm comparing, right? Mm. It's like wow, the Ferrari is two point one. I would have expected Royce like the cheap. yeah, 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 the yeah, Rolls no, Royce yeah. to be much that, more expensive. That's never been said in the same sense. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that Rolls Royce is cheap yeah. right now. <laughs> but the 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 interesting thing for me was like um, having something like like these vehicles, right? At the end of the day, I mean, how many of us get to um, you know sit in one or own one for that matter, right? But I I think there's a there's a place for in in the world for something like that. In terms of demonstrating what's possible, mm. Mm. a lot of things that we are used to today, the sort of conveniences that we have or things we take for granted, right, really started out like, oh, these were something only people of a certain in a certain segment can appreciate, and now it comes down, it cascades down to more mass market. Mm. Yeah. So if you talk about the, the, I really want to steer this towards the affordable end of EVs, right? Many of the the the, the so-called mass market EVs that we've been getting into. You have things like adaptive cruise control. These are like radar mm. cruise control. When it first came out, I remember maybe, or rather, when it first <coughs> became more popular, you are talking about big limousines that have it, that are able to maintain the 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 distance as well as the speed. Not that you could doze off, but these are all kind of things to kind of protect you from yourself mm. from being distracted. I mean, we're distracted as it is, but just to protect uh, the persons in the car as well as people around you. And these affordable EVs. Have them. It's almost like by default they have them, and you'll find it in our reviews. Oftentimes, your writers say, hey, "It's a bit annoying because they're always so intrusive. You want to learn how to switch them off and all that." But the fact that they they exist. Less mm. than 20 years ago, this is something that on your top end uh, German luxury barges. Then you have them. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the Aeon like? Did you test drive it? Not yet. So okay. the, the the car is actually well they well they they kind of like were really interested to get it out in the. Uh, uh, Out to the world, right? Mm. Because they've been preparing to do this, I think, for more than six or seven months now. Is their first car? The first car from this brand in Singapore. Okay, right. Yeah. So from what we've learned during the launch was that it's actually, uh, it's it's under and it, it's it's manufactured by this brand called this company called GAC, okay, which is a partner that builds Toyotas and Hondas in Jap- in China. Oh, oh right. Yeah, okay. So they're riding okay. on that. They say that hey, we know how to build cars, and yeah. now this is our own car. They also have and and frankly, actually, this um this Range of electric cars. This is just the one of them, one of the the couple they already have. Yeah. There are a few more in the pipeline. Mm. Yeah. So over the weekend, I think they started uh, receiving customers to go and look see and try the car just to get the awareness up. Is yeah. it the Aeon Y Plus? Yes, it's the Y Plus. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just I have to say, this. like, uh, you know, I'm kind of. Oh. We're all. We're, every time we think of EVs these days, we're thinking about BYD. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because they spend 10 weeks with us, you know, on yeah. on on Kiss 92, and I think. And I told, uh, I think we're wrong, and and Anthony at that time. Mm. I think, you know, what they did, okay, um, being with us for 10 weeks mm-hmm. was so very important because they were promoting mm. electric vehicles in general. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they were actually doing a a, a favor for to the all market. the other brands, yeah. the yeah. the EV market. And I I, I thought that that um, you know credit where credit is due, it was very big of them. For sure, that. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go back on air. Kiss 92. Singapore, get ready to empower a greener future. Introducing the GAC Aeon, the GAC Aeon Y Plus, the GAC Aeon Hyper HT with its stunning wing doors, and the GAC Aeon ES in Singapore, proudly distributed by Vincar. Come experience an amazing 430 kilometer range, live flat front seats, panoramic sunroof, hidden door handles, winged LED headlights, and more. Visit our booth D8 at the Car Expo for amazing offers on our EVs, or sign up for a test drive. Discover more at vincarev.com. GAC Future Perfected. Kiss 92 traffic on Queensway towards AIE to at the Farrer underpass. There's a vehicle breakdown, so avoid the right lane. And on Pioneer Road towards Tuas after the Bunoy sector, there's an accident, so avoid the right lane. Stay safe. Well done. Shia Lin like bringing you the truth. Did she say AIE? I heard AIE. A- A Y E. Oh, people no. will know A I E. She's in training right now <laughs> for traffic.
Because next week when we're, we're in, in Australia. Brisbane, Ooh. we're broadcasting the entire yeah. show from hey, wait, Brisbane. Nobody told you. They didn't get yes. here to get so, here. No. Hey, Nianjo. Aren't you no. coming? Charlie Monday. Susan. Who are we going to? Sh- we need you there on Monday. That's why. Yeah. We would, would you, love would to have like Nianjo in Brisbane <laughs> with us. No. 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 <laughs> He's like, no. But did they, did Charlie at least tell you that next week we are going to be in Brisbane and you don't have Nobody to come in? Nobody tells me anything. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. It's beyond his pay grade. It's okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> But you know, I mean, we welcome there you to join us. There will be congestion AIE. The AIE. <laughs> oh, maybe you can do our traffic. There you oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our guest for this morning is the senior transport correspondent from the Straits Times, a good friend of ours, Mr. Lee Nian Joe. Yeah, so we're talking about EVs. I mean, if you're in the market for an EV, which is a better way to spend your money? On a $2.1 million Rolls-Royce Spectre or on the Aeon Y Plus, which is a new Chinese EV in the market for $140,000? I I will push against that and say that don't buy any of them. Okay. <laughs> because don't buy any of them because they are EVs. Okay. Oh, because basically, what? Why do you get into a car? Mm. You know, whether it's um, one Rolls Royce or ten uh, Aeons, is that it's it's more for the there's the functionality part of it because you need to get around. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can argue this all day. Why not take public transport and whatever you? But it's about choices, right? Correct. Um. If you want to make that choice of having private transport is as and when you want, so you want to have a car at home, then if that's the decision, then you figure out how would you want to do that. Is it with a two point one million dollar or two point something, or with whatever car it is that you end up with? And along the way, when you define your budget, you also think about uh, can I charge it conveniently, mm. right? Or the the question of range. Mm. Right, so oftentimes in when when we're discussing EVs, we go, oh, is is there's range anxiety, there is charging speed concerns like that. Well, you know what? When you are actually in the position of when you actually own the sorry, before you own a vehicle, you're not gonna make the mistake of going, oops, I don't know how I'm gonna fill it up, uh, and I don't know how to get around, I don't know how to get in the car, mm. I forgot to check. <laughs> yes, like and then, but now I've committed to a loan, the car is mine, and and what have you. That is not. I, I don't think that uh, the the decisions are taken before you have really considered these yes. things. Yeah, you need yeah. to. Yeah, but the caveat here is, you want a vehicle. How do you want it to? What sort of propellant do you need? Is it by petrol, by electric? Some time ago, it was actually considered that a diesel private car is also okay. Mm. They kind of lose flavor in in recent years, but right. Um, it's it's about choices. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I mean when we're on the affordable, more affordable side of things, there are so many brands now. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, actually when I was just thinking back before coming in, last year I think there were something like four Chinese brands, electric brands, and now electric vehicles. And this year we should be seeing another three, wow. or four more. You could double. Mm. Right. Yeah. So what does that mean for the consumer? Is great. We have choice. I don't know which ones will will be hits. Which one will be kind of cool, but really odd and rare. Mm. Yeah. But at least you know, for for us as uh, uh, doing what we do, we can we can enjoy just the fact that they're there. There's exist. a variety. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Well, there's a whole lot for you to shop from. Yeah. If you head down to the car expo this coming weekend. Oh, nice. It's nice. Weekend. Segue. We yeah, wanted to be it. there, yes. but but we're, we're, we'll, we'll be, be in, in Brisbane already. Yeah. We're leaving on Friday. Mm. But uh, all the very best, uh, you know, to all the companies um, selling their respective cars at the Car Expo. For sure, it and, should be a good showcase. And everyone, head on down to the Car Expo, man. Yeah. And, um, and get something. Get, get something. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mian Cho, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, did we cover everything? Uh, any last words before you go? Blank face. <laughs> Blank face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm curious how, how uh, the Car Expo would, would, would go. I think um, next weekend or the coming weekend, right? On one side, you know, they have all these companies who are like really eager to put you, you know, buy something and, and all that. But I, what I can really would want to urge people is go and learn and find out what's in the market, mm. right? There's a lot of trepidation about, oh, where are we going? Prices up, prices down and all that. Then talk to people, find out, right? Be a mm. reporter. Yeah. Yeah, go and be a nosy capo, poke around, and they are professionally obliged to, t- to answer you. Right. So don't do any on the spur of the moment you buying. You could, but. I, I would caution it Don't shy Ask Talk yeah. to them You know yeah. Don't go to the first one Go to the second You have to, Everyone is there to serve you So take advantage of it right. Okay Good And good the words, COE so. price right now Is pretty good There's Nice and stable I it, think it's 101 or something like that I just CO- got my COE Oh that's 101. right 101 Yeah I think it's 101 It's 101 three, I mean three, if you want to yeah. wait for it to drop You know I don't know how long You're going to wait lah, But don't you think it's stabilised now I mean that's going to be more I really 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 don't know Right, but what do you think? Do you think the trend like is going gambling, to be up? It's like gambling, you won't, you I mean, can't we, tell. We've been told, okay, so back to COE, right? So, um, 
the 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 the, the concept sorry the hope the projection is we know that supply of COA is supposed to be going up every That's right. three months we see getting more right mm. 2024 should have more COA than 2023 mm. the question however is on the demand right. if you if if people are still rushing in to buy cars demand would outstrip that supply and prices won't we'll, fall yeah uh, so this yeah. is while we ad- we not that not that we address but we've been told that on the supply side it will look better but on the, the demand side as yeah, well it's going to increase and, and 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 the and the rules are such that You know the interaction of these two demand and supply is what price is, yes. yeah. and nobody knows what what that is now, what right. that will be. Mm. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay. But still, I say if you go to the car expo, <laughs> if you like buying, just buy. Yeah, like you got your COE, like just yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Nian Joe, Thank for you. joining Pleasure. us today. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We've been speaking to Lee Nian Joe, our senior transport correspondent from the Straits Times. Baby, no money is next. This is Lil Freak on Kiss Nutty Two.